The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring, representing the good guys from New York, New York. Weighing in at 240 pounds, Thomas J. Carpenter. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. And his opponent, from Manila, Philippines, weighing in at 231 pounds, Kyle Santos. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. It's easy to become focused solely on the demonic structure in Hell in a Cell, but there are other considerations we we'll think about too poorly. You're right, Michael. If it's not nailed down, it can be used as a weapon here. The stairs, every corner of the cell, anything. So whoever can utilize weapons more effectively is going to have a big advantage. Well, not to mention all the times we've seen superstars launch themselves from the top of the cell 20 feet in the air. And we know from history only bad, bad things happen on top of Hell in a Cell. Side, right by those cell walls. Right. Oh! Oh! Guys, he just went through the cell! I can't believe I just saw that. Oh no, they're closer to us! Get out of the way! I am! Here he goes up the side of the structure. A long way up. Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own well being. Gave you the first hit, Byron. He's made it up there, guys. No one. Oh, please don't come back down. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. I'm not so sure she should be doing this again, guys. Of course she should. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He's on top of the cell now. Why? Why is he on top of the cell? I think we're about to find out, Corey. Well, it's impossible to stay one step ahead of your opponent in a match as horrific as Hell in a Cell. Well, it could come down to the first superstar that can turn that switch and battle on pure instinct because a strategy could be lost and all you have left is the ability to fight. And that can happen quickly in an environment where cruelty is rewarded for having no bounds. Oh my God, off the top of the cell! Are you kidding me? That's a human being! Crushing impact off the 
the cell. Someone get in there and check on him. There's no way this can continue. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Michael, there is no room for error here. Yeah, one slip up and it's trouble. Heart pounding, adrenaline pulsing, and that's just Saxton sitting next to me. Oh, that guy Byron, he's got to put him down. He's got to put him down. Oh, this is a bad situation. Oh, my God. He's down. The table and the body getting well acquainted there. Can only imagine the damage that impact just did. I doubt this will go on for much longer. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Looks like he's calling an audible here as he makes his way back down the cell. And now he's making his way up the side of the cell. I must say, he's got impressive climbing skills. You're the best, Byron. He's going up, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, this has to be zapping every last bit of energy. He has scaled to the top of the cell. There's no easy way down now. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. And did you hear the impact of that? How can they even compete up there? How are they not frozen with fear? When you hold this much contempt for your opponent, you'll do anything you have to to drag him to hell. Combination of strikes. Ooh, he's got 11 arms and feet. Someone get the EMTs ready. I just know this isn't going to end well. Precariously better. Don't do this. Oh my gosh. I've seen it all now. Are you nuts? Brutal fall off the cell all the way down to the floor. That'll change his career forever, Cole. And frankly, it'll probably change mine. Ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Boom! All right, then. Guess this madman's climbing up the set. Can't have anything good in store with that strategy. Here's Clark. Witnessed a man plummet 20 feet to his doom. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Safety clearly isn't a concern for him right now. How can it be in this type of match? He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Running knee lift. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air. Launched into a roundhouse kick. Right. Setting up for something here. Just to fight up to the top where every step could be lost. He's one step ahead there. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. They got up there 
but how are they going to get down? I don't know if they thought that far ahead. Held in a perilous position. Down across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it.
And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. Unloading their best shot. Let's move. Ooh. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Stuck in the tree of woe and being viciously kneed over and over again. Get in there, ref. Man, he's completely gained the advantage here. He is getting fired up here. Taking this one back to the ring now. Right. Out of the ring and into hell itself. He's making the climb. The climb to what? Oh, this looks like one of those last gasp efforts, if you ask me. That's what you got to do to win this thing. Here he goes, right up the side of the cell. Making it look easy. This is rather reckless of him. Wouldn't you say this whole match is reckless, but necessary. He's all the way at the top now. And it's a long way back down. Able to get the advantage here. Series of reverses. Reversal on top of reversal. Setting it up. Boom! Everyone in this building is just waiting on bated breath. We've all seen life-altering moments come from the top of that cell. Ooh. He's channeling the crowd's energy. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. That was a statement maneuver if I ever saw one. Boom. He's climbing the cell now, guys. On the move. <laughs> this is where things really start to heat up, fellas. It's getting good now. Ascending this brutal structure. All right, he's made it. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. We've already seen part of the cell break apart. No telling what more can break apart. Is. Now these athletes are taking their chances in a very perilous position at the top of Hell in a Cell. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Uh-oh. Hard on sidekick. Do you know? Oh, my God. Off the top of the cell. I can't remember the last time we've seen devastation like this. What must be going through these superstars' minds? Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, and a knee to the face! It's a knockout driver! What a fool. He had him dead to rights. Send a shock down your spine. Was punched in the right in the face. My God. He got whipped into that corner. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. A uh, springboard. Back right to the side of the face. Tremendous balance. Just defensive.
senseless as the momentum is against him. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. Oh, man! His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. The target has been acquired once more. Yet another big move, guys. He's looking for another exclamation mark. That's got to end it this time around. The Hell in a Cell matches never disappoint, guys, but this one falls right into the legendary category. Here is your winner, Thomas J. Carpenter. Well, you can't really argue with a win like that, guys. This match is why his name is mentioned when superstars get asked about dream matches. Just an unbelievable performance he had tonight, Corey.